You guys know I really like stories like this. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rojo Reads the News. I am your host, Paul. Remember, if you like what you see, consider supporting me. Today's article comes from, it's an original from uh, Crystal at GIC Expat. A very, very cool story. Heartwarming story behind a deformed seven-year-old dancing star. The heartwarming video of a physically impaired seven-year-old girl has caught the attention of many netizens across social media platforms, captivated by her optimism and happiness from doing what she loves, dancing. This is really, really adorable. Check this out. In the video, Jun Shi from Tai'an in Shandong province dances like a normal person walking a brisk rhythm and bursting with energy. Yeah, she's adorable. What's particularly captivating is the overly expressive face she makes every time she dances. Despite her seemingly normal dancing form, Jun Shi suffers from lupus, which has caused severe deformation from her left foot. But her physical impairment has not deterred her from continue to pursue her passion and dance regardless of weather conditions. Ah, she's a look at. <laughs> That's cute. Her photographic memory helps her remember any dance move she sees and replicate them, attracting millions of fans online. Last April, Jun Shi joined a group of elderly in her village's public square to dance along and was in perfect sync. Her grandfather, Lee Chong Yoon, believes she has a knack for both dancing and acting. Her grandma has been helping her shoot all the videos that have now made her little Jun Shi an online sensation. She has a gift for dancing, she told reporters. She can just watch a dance, move once, and she'll be able to replicate it. Ever since Jun Shi's fame has picked up, they have opened a live streaming account, broadcasting her every dance move every single day. Over time, Jun Shi has attracted millions of followers through her online platforms. Wow. I know I'm struggling just for a couple hundred, and this young lady has millions. When Junshi was only two years old, her left leg began to look and feel strained, swelling in places for no apparent reason. Her parents took her to a variety of medical centers and doctors to understand what was happening. But it wasn't until the little girl was five years old that she had finally been diagnosed with lupus, a chronic inflammatory disease. While Junshi's happiness remains a priority, her grandma remains concerned about the ongoing spread of the disease, which is still not yet under control. If it ever reaches her kidneys, it could be life-threatening, she worries. And that's a shame. Meanwhile, medical expenses have been piling up, reaching more than 200,000 RMB. That's about 30,000 US dollars. Her parents had to sell the new home they had recently purchased and pick up a few shifts in Wei Weihai. Uh, Shandong province. At this moment, they can only visit their daughter once a year during Chinese New Year. That's a very, very common thing in these villages. Uh, the parents have to move to another uh, city for work and can only come home to see their families, their children, once per year during Spring Festival. Despite being only seven years old, Junxi understands how expensive her disease treatment has been. She's also aware that her grandmother may not be around for much longer, which is why she has let her shoot all the videos of her as a souvenir for both her grandparents and her parents who live far away from her. Oh, that's sweet. When I asked Jun Shi what she wants to be when she grows older, she told me, I want to earn enough money to help people in need. Her grandmother reported to help everyone who has helped me. Watching her video evokes a whole range of emotions, and you can't help but empathize with her situation while also feeling excited about the little girl pursuing her passion. She's the perfect reminder that while there are things that are completely out of our control, we can focus on the things we do have control over, which include the people who are closest to us, care for us, and love us unconditionally. Hear, hear. Well said. I think uh, we can all agree with that sentiment. Uh, a beautiful story. What do you think? Comment below. Let me know.